hello lovelies welcome back again to my channel as always i'm super excited to share another of my recipes with you all Today, I'm sharing with you my jambalaya rice recipe. Yeah, so this dish is originally from Louisiana in the United States. It's a highly flavored and spicy rice dish with smoked sausages or chicken or shrimp. It's very delicious and no doubt you will love it and will always want to try to cook this meal and eat this over and over and over again. So sit back, relax and enjoy whilst I take you right down how to make this dish. For my ingredients, I will be using some shrimps, some chopped chicken breast, sausages, I've got rice, um, celery, which is optional. I've got onion and garlic. Also, I've got bell peppers here. I've got the Cajun seasoning as well tomato puree, chicken broth, um, vegetable oil and some spring onion and chili. So the first thing I'm going to do is to chop all the vegetables into small bit sizes. If you're here for the very first time, you're highly and specially welcome. My name is Amelia and I love to cook and share my recipes kindly subscribe to this channel it will mean a lot to me if you do so and please turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my recipes whenever I do drop them and for you my returning subscribers thank you so much for always watching my videos I do appreciate your support so yeah I've got all the vegetables chopped into bits including the sausages as well all chopped nicely next um, you get your hot pot into the pot you want to add in your vegetable oil allow this to heat up a bit and then you can add in the chopped fresh garlic and also the chopped onions and allow these to um, saute for a few minutes Next, you want to add in the chopped sausages and allow these to saute for a few minutes as well till you have like a golden brown color. And then next you want to add in the chopped bell pepper and also the chopped chili pepper. As well, you also add in your celery and you continue to stir fry. So here I will be adding about two tablespoons of um, homemade Cajun seasoning powder. So this is actually um, a Cajun seasoning inspired dish. Also, I will be adding one tablespoon of chicken stock powder and then also two to three drops of um, soy sauce. So this is to really, really improve the taste. You know, this is a highly, highly flavored dish. Here, I would also be adding one tablespoon of curry powder to improve the aroma of the dish as well. So, just continue to stir fry for a few minutes so the vegetables will absorb all the flavors from the spices. I do have a full detailed video on how to make Cajun seasoning at home, so do check it out as well. Next, you want to add in the tomato paste and allow this to stir fry again for a few minutes so um, the sour taste of the tomatoes will be reduced so next you want to add in the chopped chicken breast and stir for a few minutes before you add the um, chicken stock or your chicken broth i've got about um, two cups of chicken broth and then um, of course you stir this again for a few more minutes allow this to simmer before you add in the rice it's best to use basmati rice so i have this already pre um, cooked just a f just slightly so to reduce the starch content of the rice after adding in the rice 
you want to stir for a few minutes to make sure all the ingredients everything is all incorporated together and then you close the pot and leave this to cook for just a few minutes When the rice is halfway cooked, you can then add in your shrimps because you don't want the shrimps to overcook and too soft. So um, I'm adding the shrimps now and allow to cook for like another seven to 10 minutes. And lastly, I will be adding the chopped spring onions and the white onions. So this is to give you that extra crunchiness and aroma. And um, I'm just going to allow this to just simmer for two minutes and a jambalaya rice is ready. So here we go. A jambalaya rice is ready. Like the aroma in my kitchen at this moment is just out of this world like this is something that you definitely definitely need to try out because this is different from your regular jollof rice or fried rice or coconut rice that you make often so try something out something different and trust me you will love it your family would love it and you would always want to try it out as well so do something different from the regular type of rice that you make so i hope that you're going to try this recipe out and of course if you've liked this recipe or if you've enjoyed watching this video kindly give me a thumbs up drop a comment for me in the comment section tell me exactly what you think about this recipe i would really really love to know and if you're still watching at this point and you're yet to subscribe to this channel i'm not sure what exactly you're waiting for kindly subscribe to this channel it will mean a lot to me and please do share this video out as well um thank you so so much for watching till i see you again in my next recipe video stay safe stay blessed thank you for watching Bye bye